This is a vintage uh, Sweet Hoon stroller from the 1950s or the 1960s that we acquired recently and it's still in relatively good condition so we're going to do a quick uh, overhauling of it just to kind of um, restore it and make it nice and shiny again. And there's a few different problems on this. Uh, first and foremost is the rust that we're going to take care of with uh, this sort of chrome. It's very easy to remove rust. It responds very well to rust remover. And uh, we're going to also remove the tires and wash them and make them a bit whiter and put them back on as well as remove some of the uh, spots along the fabrics and fix some of the details and so on. And uh, on the inside, the white has yellowed very much. So we're going to clean that up as well and just do a general rest restoration. And we'll show you um, which products and how we're uh, working on these various problems uh, as the video continues. Okay, now we've uh, removed the tires and I did this with a screwdriver, just carefully pushing it under the rubber and pulling it up and then mostly pulling it down with my hands off of the wheel. And I've put all of the tires in the washing machine, like a clothes washing machine, although you can also use a dishwasher. And this will uh, go far towards bringing back a whiter color onto the tires. Now I am preparing to put Rust Eater, uh, that's this stuff, all over the stroller. Uh, there are many different brands, but the basic idea is it's an acid grease. And uh, when you're dealing with a stroller like this and you're putting Rust Eater, uh, you should look at the various types of metal. So this sort of metal, this steel, where it's flat here and here, will react differently to the Rust Eater than will the chrome. The chrome will, um, you want to leave the Rust Eater on for a long time, you're going to get a nice shiny finish anyway. But uh, the flat metal parts will discolor and turn white if you leave the rust eater on too long. At the moment, I'm just coating the whole thing with rust eater, but then I'll check back in about half an hour and remove the rust eater from these areas. It won't necessarily fully remove all the rust, but it leaves a protective coating afterwards. But uh, off the chrome, it should more or less remove everything and leave it very shiny at the end. Okay, now that I've coated the uh, chassis with Rust Eater and I'm waiting for it to work, I'm going to start working on the hard bag, the uh, carry cot. And we're going to first wash it just with some soap and water. And then we can go over with one of these Scotch Bright pads, which we're going to wet in a bit to uh, remove some of the yellowness and some of the stains and so on. Um, if it's necessary, then we could also use a little bit of bleach or a little bit of uh, acetone, nail polish remover. In any case, after we've cleaned this up, I'm going to go over and uh, do all of the small areas of metal that have rust on them with a rust eater again, being very careful not to get it on the fabric. If you do, then you need to wash it afterwards. You need to wait for it to fully dry and then wash it away. Then, in addition to that, there are a number of small damaged points in the fabric and uh, because this is sort of a uh, rubber fake leather sort of a material um, and most of the damage is small uh, it will work to glue to pull the fabric over the damaged area and glue it down in most cases so we're going to do that now then
Okay, now we've uh, pretty much finished the restoration of this stroller and uh, we've removed the rust eater and we've cleaned up the bag. We used a special fabric epoxy to patch small areas on the fabric. And the last thing that we'll do is I'll wait until uh, it's been about a day uh, and the uh, rust eater has had a time to dry in places that I can't see and then I'll use WD-40 to shine it up afterwards. But otherwise, the stroller is finished. This wasn't like a full restoring job, um, but the stroller was in relatively good condition to begin with. And we think it looks nice at the end. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.